Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to make a triangle, a 3D triangle from three points, okay? In Roblox Studio, of course. So I made a module for that that will make it so much simpler as you're going to as you're going to see here. Alright, so first of all you're going to find the link of the module in the description and you're going to go to the toolbox. Of course you're going to get that module first, then you're going to go to your inventory. And of course, you'll find it as the first one in your models thing. All right. So that's it. Now, you're going to take this triangle 3D, okay? Then you're going to take into uh, replicate storage, all right? Or any anywhere, actually. But, okay. Um, replicate storage looks like a perfect place right there. All right. So I'm going to go to, first of all, I need to make the, those three points. All right, so I can, you know, edit them later on and see how it works. But yeah, so I have these three points, all right? So you can call them if you want. All right, I'll call this one A, this one B, this one C, all right? And I'm going to make a folder for them, just folder. And I'm going to call this triangle vertices or points even. So why not? Okay, and let's just burn this to the triangle points. All right, good. Now, we're going to make a local script as this is already ready. I'll just make sure actually it's anchored so it doesn't fall or move. All right, now let's go to start player, start player scripts, and let's make a local script, okay? And we'll start by creating a 3D triangle from those three points. And to actually get the position of these three spheres, okay, that we made, we need to, to reference them. We need to tell the script where those points are located or where those spheres are located in our game. And in this case, they are located in workspace inside a folder called triangle points. Okay, so we'll say triangle points folder is equal to workspace dot triangle points. Just like that. All right, here we go. Now we'll go ahead and say local point A is equal to triangle points folder dot a local point b and well i'll just you know copy this and paste it of course using control c and control v if you don't know okay by the way this should be a because it's called a like that b and c and here a b c oh god c all right here we go now that we told our script where those spheres are located, what we're going to do is we're going to um, get our module here, the module that you that you got from me, okay, that I made and that you downloaded, of course. So it's inside replicate storage, right? And anything here, like all of this instances for all these things are parents of, or are ch children of works uh, of game, actually. So if you want to access them, you can say, for example, game.workspace, okay? Or game.replicate.storage. And every child of the, of game is a service. So instead of actually doing game.workspace, for example, that would work, but hey, if someone have actually renamed your, your service or your child or whatever. They called it something else like, ah, uh, well, it won't work. It will break it, okay? And as a hacker, like in your script or in your game, or even not, actually not even a hacker, but just an exploiter, well, can easily change the workspace name and stuff like that. So you really want to do something like local, Replicate storage in this case that we want. Replicate storage is equal to game. Instead of dot replicate storage, you do get service replicate storage. Okay. All right. Here we go. Now, what's next? Now that we have the replicate storage, we need the triangle three D module. So local triangle three D module. 
triangle treaty is equal to require or let's say replicate search dot triangle treaty triangle treaty but there is a catch here is that i'm using a local script which means my script is running in the client or the player's computer okay and the player's computer it's not guaranteed that this that any other element is actually loaded that is part of the server or the game itself okay so this can be loaded or not loaded if it's loaded then this will work just fine if it's not loaded then it will crash okay it won't work so how to fix that we need to do wait for child instead of accessing it, accessing it directly so what we're saying is that if you find something called triangle 3d inside replicate storage right inside replicate storage then give it to me if not then wait for it until it loads that's basically the case all right now we got the triangle 3d module right right now we only got the module but not triangle 3d itself but if we, we want to get the triangle 3d itself we need to load the module and how we load the module we say require triangle 3d module that's basically the case okay now that we got a triangle treaty now this will be just like some kind of new roblox instance thing like magical thing that is just added to your belt right now to your toolbox okay now how we can use it well as every instance in roblox like vector tree if you want for example to make a vector tree you just do vector tree dot new right and that's basically the same as triangle 3d all right now what we want is to make a triangle that takes into account this tree the tree the position of this tree spheres okay all right all right now triangle 3d dot new okay dot new and then we'll give it the point a which is the sphere a that we made here or that we referenced it there okay so point a dot position because we don't want the sphere itself we want the position of the sphere okay so where is the position here we go so we want the position of the sphere not it's um the sphere itself right so all right that's the case point b dot dot position comma point c dot position that's basically it now we gave three vector trees or three positions into our new triangle tree d okay cool now that should work right well let's see now let's play this let's just make sure we don't have any error because if anything goes wrong it will show you in the output okay and as you see there's no triangle and there's no error which means something we miss or we're missing something okay so yes we made the triangle treaty all right we did made it all right but we didn't do anything with it we just made it and we didn't do anything with it all right now we need to store the triangle that we made the new triangle that we made in order to access its functions and stuff all right now triangle first of all we need to build our triangle what build is it will just you know um build the meshes necessary to actually build the triangle okay that's basically it so if you want to use your triangle or you want to draw it you should make sure to build it first okay then what you're going to do is render right what's render it will only render it function will calculate uh, the information needed uh, to draw the triangle from the vertices or from the positions that you gave it okay so this will only do the calculation process not the drawing process which which means it will actually print all right so now let's actually test and see if there is any triangle All right, there is no error, which is a good sign at least. But there is still no triangle, okay? However, 
so yeah, all right. Now let's go to local scripts. Now we build the triangle and we rendered it, but we didn't draw it. So we do need to draw it. And what draw will do is it will actually take the builded triangles or the builded meshes, right? And construct them using the rendered calculations. And then it will draw it. Now it should show actually, right? Yeah, it should. However, the case is, yes, it did render. However, it's not shown. Like it, it got drawn, but it's not shown. So how's that? Well, as every Roblox item or every Roblox mesh or whatever, you need to parent it, okay? So I need to do triangle parent to some, somewhere. And in this case, I'm just going to use the workspace. And if you play this on right now, all right, let's see, and boom, we have a triangle, yay, all right. However, the case is that even if I move this, it won't move, right? It won't update the vertices or the positions and stuff, and it won't re-render it and stuff like that, okay? All right, now let's see what we did here. Now build, render, and draw. We can just say render draw because it's already a function. And even instead of calling this tree functions, we can do something called preset. Draw preset, okay? Or you can call it whatever you want, okay? It's basically a table, and you give it the, the things that you want it to do. So build is equal to true. It's like calling triangle build. And then render is equal to true. It's like calling render. And draw is equal to true. It's like calling triangle draw and then parent is equal to workspace it's like calling the triangle parent to workspace that's basic case and as you guess i can all delete this stuff and then uh, i can pass this draw preset table in here just like that now it's the same thing all right here we go Okay, and you can reuse this draw preset if you want for sure. All right, so now you can also, by the way, uh, pass the positions using the table instead of parameters like this, just like that, right? Or you can just use it as the normal way. All right, now that we made this, all right, now we do need to update uh, the thing. So when we move the position, the spheres, it, it updates again, all right? Now what we need is um, local function update, okay? Now what we're going to do in this update is that we're just going to say triangle animate vertices and we need to give it the new positions. And I'll you just give it this stuff, basically. That's all, all right? Now that we made the update function, now we need to know when to call it. Let's start first by actually listening to point A. When point A dot position is changed, then update. If point B dot position is changed, then update. If point C dot change, update. We can do that. All right. So just say point A and then get property change signal. position and then connect to the function update and the same thing with the other points too B C all right now in theory this should work let's see let's see All right, move. Well, it does work. And as you see, it's really good with performance because it's not rendering or updating the triangles unless when the 
positions get changed. Alright, if you see here in the uh, script, where is the script? Wait. Oh god. Script performance, right? Here we go. But it's not shown there. Why? Because it's not working even. Like, here we go. This is it, right? So let's see 0% activity. And rate also 0%. It only works when I actually change the position, as you see. Which is pretty good. Okay. Love it. And still pretty low activity, actually, even when updating the triangle. Which is pretty good. Alright, so we actually made the thing that we wanted to do from the start of the tutorial. And you can really make a lot of stuff just for using this module, this simple module, this simple code. Feel free to use it. By the way, the rendering function, which is the calculations, are I made it using uh, Egomo's algorithm he's the one who made the calculations and he published in the dev forum and i just slapped it in there it was pretty optimized and everything i couldn't have made anything better there is one slight issue with this though is that there is this gap right here and there's this gap because i'm using my custom mesh and for some reason there is this gap i don't know why but there is it just to make you notice this right however if you want to use wedges by the way like yeah if you want to use meshes then just go ahead and instead of triangle mesh just get this somewhere else and put here a wedge part right and call it triangle mesh and then you're going to use wedges instead of my custom mesh or you can even get your own mesh on, or your custom mesh on, which also will work just, just fine, all right? So as you see, widgets works just perfectly fine. However, as I said, it's much more preferable to use my custom mesh or your own custom mesh that only holds two triangles instead of thousands of triangles. If you're going to make you know a lot of uh, triangles, if you want it to make such thing, then you really want you don't want to go with widgets, unless if it doesn't make like it's not a big deal for you. So yeah, that was the video, and I hope you loved it. And that's it. So see you later. Bye.